of all, maybe taking a trip with the fam over there next month. Oh. Away. So I'll That'd call be you. Awesome. Yeah. That sounds great. Are we just waiting for uh, Joey? We're waiting for the entire KW team. <laughs> All right. Well, for the early birds, I have a new listing for four. It's a little condo in um, uh, around Highland Park for four fifty, and it's beautiful with a pool. What do you think the rent can be on that? That's a good question. I'll find out. I just got a call from one of my investors. He's looking for a, he's looking for two condos. Could be the same owner for both condos. Um, roughly about 700 K, but he wants like a 4,500 rent. I said that it's a long shot, but that's why I want to talk to you about Hudson. If you're, if you're converting that to a tick. Okay. Yes. It's going to be, um, the back's going to be 850 and the, back, the front's going to be 950. Ooh, never mind. Um, hey guys, I'm going to start in a little bit. Joey's actually not feeling well right now. So I'm, we're trying to find Rob, if he can step in and mediate the meeting. So give us just one second. Sorry about that. No problem. Yeah, for forty five hundred, I think the purchase price needs to be a little closer to nine. Oh yeah, yeah. Well, what are you getting That's on that? Back, what are you getting rent on that back unit? Um, thirty four fifty, but they're moving out, so um, someone could get more for sure because the garage could be used as a uh, as a room. Yeah. What are you getting for your front unit? Five. Okay. I love it when clients tell me to find a needle in a haystack. <laughs> um, let me think about that for you. And what street in Highland Park is your condo listing on? It is actually... Um, Great question. Let me find it. It is, uh, it's 4499 via Marisol. I know where that is. Oh, in the Monterey Hills? Sorry? That's Monterey Hills. Yeah, it's Monterey Hills. Thank you. And that's a beautiful complex area. It is a beautiful complex area. It's, a. Uh, it's really woodsy and beautiful and like Greenbelt. And this unit is totally renovated. It's really cute. One bedroom, one bath. Uh, overlooking the pool. How much? Four fifty. Four forty nine. She'll sell it pre market. Okay, I have a buyer. Great. And the HOA is only three thirty as of the last time. The last sale. I'll have to double check that. Excellent. Uh, I'll get you in to see it, Christina. Yeah, first dibs, baby. <laughs> I'm gonna go and uh, put my saliva on that thing. <laughs> yeah. Mark my territory. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so there's a, I mean, is everyone online and we're just waiting? Mm. Where's Rob? Yeah, there's a lot of people on, just not on video, I guess. 26, 27 people to be exact. Where's Tiffany Chen? Isn't she? Uh... Hi, Tim. Hi. Hi. It's Tim's birthday. It was Tim's birthday this week. Happy uh, birthday, Tim. Belated happy birthday. Thank you. So, um, Joey uh, took some med medication and he's not feeling so well right now. Um, so, can you step in and mediate the, uh, the team meeting? Okay. Do you have the link? Oh, perfect. 
All right, we are ready. Uh, everything's pulled up, so uh, nothing crazy today, but um, yeah. There's no Ed or Andy either, otherwise I'd have Ed do it. Yeah, join or whatever you want. Or, there you are. All right, perfect, thank you. Bye. So we're waiting for a substitute teacher. What's that? We're waiting for a substitute teacher. Substitute yeah, teacher. Yeah. yeah, that's me. <laughs> <laughs> hi, hi. How's everybody doing? Great. Good. Good. Excellent. So uh, I just was I just was like signing in, and Tara calls and goes, uh, "Can you do the team meeting?" So <laughs> here we are, guys. All right. Uh, so t there we go. Tell me something good. Who's got something good going? I, I, I have something to share. I thought it was very amusing. My okay. birthday was this week, and uh, I, I was presented with a cupcake with a candle lit on it yesterday, and I invited to pull my mask down for a picture. I said, no, let's leave the mask on. Long story short, even after four intense, heavy blows, I could not blow that candle out. So I think- <laughs> Well, that's because you had the mask work. on, right? Huh? It's because you had the yes. mask on. But I mean, I breathe in and out of a mask. I thought I could <laughs> blow the candle out, but I could not. So, well, we, all right. Well, we, and that's they something work. good. They work. Good. They work. Okay. Oh, that's right. Okay. So the, the masks work. All right. I like that. There's a little science experiment to start the, uh, the meeting. Um, anybody else? Tell me something good. Okay, let me see. I, I'll have something good. Um, yeah, my, we were just home here and my daughter just said that she, uh, you know, she's been working remotely for some job in New York, but then she just got an interview for, to work as an assistant editor uh, for Vanity Fair in New York. Wow. So very excited about that. Yeah, that's very great. Just, just a preliminary interview, but you know, could be very, could yeah. be something, right? All right, so let's move on. Next slide. Unless anyone else has anything. I don't want to stop anyone from something good. No? All right. We'll be out of here in 15 minutes. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right, so classes and happenings. What do we have going on? Morning check-in. Um, Ed is not here, so I'm here. I wasn't at the morning check-in today. I had a uh, um, finishing up on a retrofit on uh, duplex I have. So, Ed, I always like going to those meetings. Carlos, you got something to say or are you just uh, not muted? I'm not seeing anything. It was a free for all meeting. It's a free for all meeting. Well, not exactly. I've, I'm supposedly, uh, I'm uh, trying to keep the show running. Um, all right, so. This morning at nine, I mean. Oh, it was, there was no Ed this morning either? No, well, Ed's, Ed's on vacation, vacation. this week. Oh, Ed's on vacation. So, oh yeah. my God. So who ran that? It was Joey. Joey. It was Joey. Okay. Okay. So I guess he figures he's done enough today since he started at nine. He, he, he works two hours and he's done. Um, Okie doke. So uh, Ed will be back when? Do we know, Tara? Uh, he'll be back uh, Monday. Monday. Okay. So vacation. So, but meanwhile, we're still going to have the meetings. Is that correct? Yes, that is correct. Joey's going to run them. Joey's running them. Okay. Excellent. Okay, so next, what do we have? Um, diversity Task Force next Monday, 4 p.m. I have not been in those meetings, but I figure um, who's been in that? Tracy and Lorna, I think, have been in some of those. Am I correct? Are they? I don't see them on the meeting yet. Are they here? Thank you. Uh, no, I don't believe they're here. I don't believe they're here. Okay, diversity task force. Is anyone that's been in the diversity task force here? I've been there. Hey, Josephine. So Hi. what can you tell us? What's, how's, how's it progressing? It's progressing slowly, but surely. Um, Jury's doing a lot of work with Paul. We're still trying to get uh -huh. the diversity um, class going. So Joey and Lorna is working on that with UCLA and some logos and whatnot. Nice. Oh, excellent. Um, and what's UCLA's uh, part in this? Uh, they're trying to get them to set it up with someone similar. So they're working on someone who will give the course for give us. Give the course. Oh, for yeah. us. Okay, through yeah, UCLA. Yeah, for us. Uh -huh. 
Yeah. Excellent. Well, that sounds excellent. All right. And moving on. Mega camp. Um, all right. I have not signed up yet, but I will be. Um, what's the price? The price, it's pretty inexpensive. Is it one ninety nine or something like that? One nineteen. What one nineteen? Oh my God! Why didn't I sign up already? All right, um, I've never done Mega Camp. I've done the family reunion. I've done Bold, but I know the people who talk about Mega Camp say it's it's just a little bit more uh, a little bit more top producers, people that are kind of movers and shakers in the uh, Keller Williams world. Um, has anyone been to Mega Camp? Yeah, I could talk about Je a little bit too. Jen Stein. Yeah, that's right. So. First of all, uh, I don't know if our, is our office offering um, where if we bring, if we bring somebody else in outside of KW to attend? Yes, them, yes. Joe, I think Joey's got like a half a dozen um, of those kind of tickets. Yes. Okay. So, um, all right. Well, I know, I know other offices are saying if you bring somebody else in, they get it for free and you get it for free too. So that might be something to ask Joey about. It's a really good, really, it's an amazing recruiting tool. Like this right. is the best recruiting tool, especially right now. Everybody's at home. So um, Mega is uh, is outstanding. It's it's not as many breakout classes like Family Reunion. Mm -hmm. It's more um, a lot of top producer, top producing panels, right? Um, answering questions and Gary Keller uh, centric in terms of you know speaking and. Right, you get a lot more Gary time, is my understanding. Yeah, you do. You get a lot more Gary time, and you get you get a lot of substance. Um, I mean, certainly doing any of this virtually is going to get a lot more substance than having right. to, you know, run around like sheep <laughs> through a convention right. hall. So right, it's right. it's awesome, and um, as it's been said, it's like nobody can afford it. anybody who's in real estate. You can't afford not to do it. It's phenomenal. It will help your business exponentially, and it uh, it recharges me every year, as does cool. family reunion. But Mega's even better. It's shorter. It's not as it's not as, it's not as long as either. And if you sign up and you don't think you can do you know the whole thing, just hop on when you can, and I'm sure things will be recorded as well. Excellent. Excellent. Right at six thirty in the morning. Oh, is 6 that right? Yes, eight thirty Central Time. What's wrong with those people? Crazy. Okay, well, those are the recorded <laughs> ones. Terrible. We'll, make sure, we'll make sure we're going for the recorded ones on that. <laughs> All right, I'll, I'll join you guys at eight. Yeah, there, uh, there you go. Okay, so uh, next we have. Does anybody know, of Tara, is there any way to confirm that that stuff's going to be recorded? Because that's, that's just a really busy week for me, but I would be interested in getting the recordings. Yeah, let me ask, uh, I'll ask uh, AJ or Paul and they'll know and then I'll let you guys know. Alrighty, so now here's something new. The KW Larchmont letterhead with equal housing opportunity logo, black and white and color version are now live in the KW master folder. All right, and the letterhead will be linked in a recap email. Excellent, excellent, excellent. You know, I, I think that spelling on that should be changed to color like what in colored version white and color version. color version yeah boy that's kind of funny yeah really i and mean kind of kind yeah. of ironic yeah really the, the colored version uh we won't go there all hey, right <laughs> <laughs> we won't go there but i think yeah that wouldn't be a bad idea uh so moving on to next oh the masks um i actually just picked up a couple of masks i don't know denim just isn't my thing i went for the the white I don't know, but uh, they, they do have a white one. I didn't know I, they had. Oh, did they? I, I I just keep seeing this denim thing, and I just I don't know. It just Which, doesn't. We go can with get any white ones because I don't like we denim. We not have white ones. It's just denim. Just denim. Um, I I bought them and I've been using them, and they're actually very comfortable. And they are. Yeah, that, uh, that's the key. There's two layers. That's the key is comfort because if you mm -hmm. got to have to wear that for a long time, you want to make sure. It's, uh, you're not sweating your, your nose off. Um, all right, so masks still available. Next, what would Bob do? What kind of a closing gift would Bob get for his clients? Now, is this, uh, is this a, uh, 
a free for all. Uh, we're discussing this right now. Please submit all experiences, tips, tricks to be discussed in a team meeting to the front desk. Okay, so this is what our discussion is gonna be today, Tara, is that the plan? Yes. Okay, so anybody wanna chime in? What kind of a closing gift would Bob get for his clients? I actually put this out there. <laughs> you did? Okay. Yeah, I was curious because I have two closings coming up and I just don't know right now. I don't know, like a wine, you know, a candle, but some people are weird about candles and smells. And, yeah, you know, and Saturday Night has... Live has that whole little skit about, I'm giving you this candle. Um, <laughs> and it gets passed around from everyone in the whole thing. Um, well, yeah. I know that when, uh, and this isn't the same as what would Bob do, but when I, uh, Ray Schuldenfry was in the office, his closing gift, um, he always wanted to give something that would last, something that would stay. So a bottle, and I had always been kind of doing a bottle of wine or something like that. And, and then, you know, they drink the bottle of wine and it's, and it's gone. Um, and it depends. So it, that got me thinking and I had these guys and they had bought a, um, a condo and I knew they were going to need some work that they were going to do on it, but weren't very handy themselves or didn't have a lot of stuff. So, you know, I got them the, the bottle of champagne, but I also, I got them a six foot step ladder because I knew they were going to need that to, to hang pictures or whatever they were going to do. So it was a need. It was going to be something they were going to have for a while. And every time they pull that out, hopefully nobody falls off it. Um, they will remember me. Uh, so I that's think a great that's idea. it. Yeah. And I mean, I also had one, just if we, you know, I have time for story. I had a clients they had bought a property and between the agents um we had discussed the plants at the property and you know he said oh no my clients you know said the plants are going to stay well sure enough he only had spoken to the husband who said the plants could stay the wife said no so sure enough the day of final walkthrough all these plants and i mean beautiful bougainvillea that was on the patio outside gone so right exactly and 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 so he actually, you know, wasn't his clients. These were my clients who were the buyers. He actually chipped in some money from, you know, for them to buy some plants. And I actually showed up the day when they were taking possession with big potted bougainvillea on the, you know, the lattice and stuff like that. And, uh, you know, they always talk about that. So, you know, I, I would go for something that's going to stay. And I think Bob would say this too, something that's going to be there you know, much longer than a, than a bottle of wine or a bottle of champagne. But, you know, something that you, you put some thought into it, something that, you know, they might need or might not even know they need, right? Um, you know, there's always something you need in a new house. There's always you know, a I, idea. I, uh, if, if there are fruit trees in the yard, a picker, a fruit picker, I got one of those a couple of years ago. Uh, I, I've seen a few houses that I've sat open with really tall uh, citrus trees and not necessarily the like picker. So that some kind of garden tool could be really cool. And that's yeah. kind of going with what you Rick, said. Can you talk to like any educational or productivity coach? What was that? Hello? I, I, I think that was a, a, a that, was, that was a bogey. I'm, uh, yeah, bogey. <laughs> yeah. Hey, um, hey, this so, is. And, and, and I don't think it's that difficult because if you think about it, you've been with these people as they've walked through the house probably the first time and as they've gone through with inspections and they've gone through this. So I'm sure there's been a couple of things that have been discussed that they're gonna change, that they're gonna wanna do. I mean, you know, even if it was a coffee table book about interior design or something like that, just there's probably a million little things, little hints that they've given along the way. Um, that, hey, Jim, can yes? I in real quick? I, like you, like you, I always give something that is useful and lasting. I never right. give food because you don't know allergies, you don't know what they, you know, that kind of thing. Um, Tim, I really like your idea and that is something I was thinking of doing in my next one. But for every closing, I always give a personalized doormat. Um, Great. Because that sounds very good. Yeah. Whether they want to use it on their front door, back door, garage, wherever, it will get used. Um, and some of them have gotten really personalized. Like I've actually, if they have a different last name, I won't do the thing. I'll put both their first names in a back running thing of like, 
let's say like you know go packers your rules did that be like a little thing like it's just like because that was personalized but then for other people like you know it's a little classier it's just you know <laughs> the right issue. right yeah yeah but, you gotta um, know your audience yeah something that is just lasting because i actually have had a house now come back around 10 years later they still have that doormat and i'm listing that house now wow Excellent. so just you know keep in mind that that's something that you you know i mean is it your name on the doormat you what is it of your name on the doormat i wish right <laughs> i should put that somewhere oh and another thing i've started doing is um yeah, I mean, doing deep dives into their social media and grabbing some photos that they wouldn't know I have and making personalized keychains. That's a great that idea. Was, it sounds a little creepy. Sounds a little stocky. I'm an internet yeah. creep, so yeah, for sure. <laughs> I have, Alrighty, cute, so. I have I just want to say I have a very cute idea that's very personalized and, and not very expensive. On Etsy, you can get the engraved um, cutting boards, and it's mm. very nice. You put the people's names on it. They, they have a uh, little engraving of like a little house if you want to do that. If not, you can just put their names and then the date that the house closed. And you don't have to personalize it with any of your own stuff. It's a cutting board that they have with their name, and they'll know every time they're cutting that apple or that cheese. Oh yeah, my agent gave me that. And it's cute. And then you can always couple it with a bottle of champagne and you know, cheese, you know, a little baskets worth of stuff. But it's just that one thing that they'll hold on to and have. Excellent, that sounds yeah. great. Right, okay. And just, and, and just a few more ideas, if you guys don't mind. Um, I mean, I'm sure you guys Please. probably use this already, but um, you know, like for me, I'm a tech person, so you know, I, 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 I like the ring doorbells or, or even, even like a, you know, an Amazon. Alexa or something simple like that, or even even a really nice router, you know, if someone's into tech, but you know, other ideas are like, you know, knives, as you said, but definitely something that should be lasting where, you know, somebody can can be using it and thinking of you at all times, you know, when, when, when they're actually using it and doesn't go away like food. Yeah, excellent. That's yeah. great. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Thanks. Thanks, Ben. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, okay, um, so I, I, sorry, mm -hmm. just one last thing. I oh, wait, one more. I give them a corkscrew with the wine, so the corkscrew stays. Ah, of course, excellent. Do you get the corkscrew from somewhere special, or do you like just kind of a nice high-end corkscrew? Uh, the latter, just a nice high-end corkscrew. I, I actually buy them on Amazon and sort of in bulk. Yeah, that's great. Thank you. Excellent. All right, next. Awesome suggestions, by the way, guys. Yes, yeah, so, yeah, very good suggestions. Really okay, good. So. Birthdays coming up. Okay, the 26th, that's today. Matthew, is he here? No, okay. Peter, uh, also on the 26th, look at that, okay. And I don't think I saw Peter on the call. Is Peter on here as well? No. People usually kind of try and, you know, hide when it's their birthday, it seems like, I don't know. Uh, it, Alexander? It, was, it was Tim's birthday yesterday too. And it was Tim's birthday yesterday, that's right. He said that. Um, uh, happy birthday, Tim. Uh, Alexandra? On the 30th, 31st is Andre, Crystal on the 31st as well, and then Joseph takes us into September. Excellent. Well, happy birthday, everybody. And next, uh, core services. Okay, we're moving past that because there she's not here, but Ven is here, and he has a small child on his uh, shoulder. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, sorry, my my, uh, my my daughter. So he'll be whispering. Idea. He'll be whispering. I I I I think she's teething, so she has a small fever. But anyway, oh. um, people that don't know me and people that do know me, my name is Van Van with Claire Martel, as you can see on the on the screen. Um, a lot, I see a lot of um, new names here. So, anyway, I I'm a resident uh, title person or, or title rep. Would love to help you and you know, and your business. I know I, I just got off another call and the market is hot. You know that's that's not a secret, right? Um, so either, either you have referrals or you have buyers or you have sellers, regardless, I can help you, you know, find those people that, that, that want to sell, you know, would be a farming and, um, you know, we keep, get that data all sorted out and we can filter anything now, basically, you know, down to, to, to the ethnicity, down to the, to the, to the female or male owner, you know, single party, anything, you know, that you can think of, we can probably do. So keep that in mind. Um, I'm happy to help. So let me know. Excellent. Yeah, and probably good to take advantage of all the technology 
since uh you know going around door knocking is just a little bit uh you know in the back burner at this point in time all righty so next we got raha here too i just don't have a slide and it was last minute raha oh okay hi hey raha how are you guys doing i think everybody's doing great Oh, good. Um, I just had a quick note that I wanted to let everyone know. Uh, you guys are doing a great job with the PEED forms. Keep those going. Um, but just remember for each uh, listing that you need a coronavirus listing agreement addendum as well. So uh, mm. anyone who has a listing coming up or if you currently have a listing, make sure that you have that addendum attached to it and have sellers sign because we need the sellers to sign a PEAT form and that's included in there but also this um, addendum. I'm going to put the um, in the chat here if you guys want to take a look in on uh, car forms and then let me know if you have any questions. Well I, I got a question for you so I've had a listing it came on let's say before the uh, the pandemic so we've had mm -hmm. it on there since march yeah. uh, and it's an income property so do i do i have to have this addendum signed by the uh, they're not living there by the the owners yes please and it's just pandemic. basically uh letting uh people know that they're aware that there's a pandemic going on and they're aware that people are going to come inside the house and basically that they're allowing it to happen got it so the sellers every are property. Like, yeah. So if it's um, if you have someone coming in to take photos or if you have someone coming in to put up a sign, this is just the seller saying, I am OK with this and I'm aware of the guidelines. And I uh, understand that um, the other side needs to like sign a PEED form as well. But yes, all sellers should sign this form. OK. Raha, what about. Raha, what about commercial listings? Hi. Um, Yes, I believe you can in the top portion of it just uh, do subject to whichever uh, listing agreement you have. Okay, thanks. So the top, yeah, top portion. It's just best to be safe to do it for everything that you have. And I assume okay, it's true for, for leases too, right? Yes. Okay. There's a specific PEED form for lease rental forms. So... Uh, make sure to include that as well. So there's Excellent. a PEED, PEED for visitors, PEED for lease rental properties, and PEED for sellers. And PEED is property entry coronavirus um, advisory form. Yes, advising declaration, I believe. Yes. And then keep sending those to PEED at kwlargemont.com. And I put the email there as well. But uh, so we're using that as a storage space for all the PEED forms. Um, make sure that you put the address on the subject line so we can easily find it if it ever needs to be brought up again. Got it. Yeah, that's probably okay. important. Yes. Oh, and yes. As always, let me know if you guys have any questions about the forms. Okay. Excellent. Thank Thanks, Ra. Of course. Okay, next. Closed leases. Christina Kim closed Virgil. Gina Chan called, closed Traction. And Marissa Tranquilli, 433 North Doheny. Excellent. A couple of leases. Closed escrows. Wow, Angela Bond's got two on as Flower. Bates Hannington's got two. Very nice. Champ. Day. Dylan. Field Commercial. Heidi Davis, Laura Anderson, uh, Marianne Simon, and Paul, all closed escrows. Congratulations. Laura and Maury. Laura and Maury. Oh, right. I didn't see that on there. Yeah, Maury. Congratulations. Who's Maury? Oh, that guy. Yeah. That guy. <laughs> I just saw the first name. I thought the street was Maury. New escrows. Okay, we got new escrows. Alex Dion. On. Chelsea, Christina Kim, keeping it rolling. Eileen Lanza, nice. Heidi Davis has got two. Jeffrey Perlman, Michael, Michael Wegman, Mike Flanagan, Star, and the Woodward team all opened escrows. Congratulations, guys. 
that's kind of, that's impressive. That's impressive for sure. Uh, new listings. Let's see what we've got. We've got Andrew Woodward. Andrew, is he on this call? This is a nice, this looks like a nice one in the Palisades. Andrew, are you here? I don't think so, he's here. Don't think so. Okay, well, it's in the Palisades. It's five beds, five baths, and almost 5,000 square feet for about $5 million. I think that number five is uh, something Andrew likes. Okay, next. Uh, core group. Pete, are you here? This is Lillian Way. This is down the street from him, I guess. Three beds, two baths, 1,600 square feet. 1695. It sounds like he's here. Is he here, Pete? No. It's across the street from him. It's right across the street from him. Wow. Pretty much. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Um, okay. So we know that's all that's over by uh, the LA Tennis Club. Uh, okay. Back next. Uh, Craig Spano, Dave LaBelle, 1635 North Genesee. Uh, that's up by, uh, is that like by Sunset Hollywood over there, I think? Three beds, three baths, 2,400, over 2,400 square feet for 1,469. And it's got a pool. Look at that. And uh, that crazy balcony it's got up there. All righty. Ooh, that looks nice. Chelsea's got a three bed, three bath um, in the uh, 90019 area on 12th Avenue. Three bed, three bath. Almost 2,000 square feet for 1249. That looks good. I, it, I don't know what the inside looks like, but the outside looks great. Okay. And then Laura Anderson, right in her neck of the woods there. Laura, you on? No? 5991 Pickford for two beds, one bath, 1,200 square feet, 119. Uh, Maury, you want to talk about this? Do you know anything about it? Um, yeah, it's just listed. Um, it's a great house. It's been totally renovated. Really, they did a spectacular job with the square footage they have. Um, and there's a lot of activity with showings. Right. The price is good. And, and yeah. um, how big is the lot? You know what? I'm actually not sure. Okay. All right. But it looks nice. It's completely renovated. Awesome. Yep. Um, next. Carlos, I know Carlos is here. Carlos 3,007 here. South Genesee, three beds, two baths, 1,500 square feet. Carlos, talk to me. Yeah, this is right next to that new Cumulus project. It's got um, Whole Foods coming up. The lot is 5,500, so it has room for expansion because it backs up into an alley. And a lot of uh, the neighbors have done a proper, proper, like, three-story ABUs. So, um, and the house is three bedroom, but on record, on Zima's and everything, it's four bedroom. And uh, oh. one of the bedrooms, I believe, got converted into an office. So, uh, that's that. Hot area, West West Adams. West West Adams, excellent. What's the cross street on that, South Genesee? Cross street is, uh, La Cienega is behind it. And Jefferson okay. is south of it. Okay, perfect. Thank you. Looks good. Uh, next. Uh, Jacqueline Jantz, 2128 Cove. Is uh, Jacqueline with us? Yes? No? Hi. Hey. Uh, so this is coming up. Uh, it's a two bedroom, two bath. 850 square feet. It has a really nice yard. Uh, maybe somebody would want to construct or uh, bring in a prefab ADU. Mm -hmm. uh, it's a walk street, about 32 steps to the home. Everything has been done to the home. Um, roof, uh, plumbing, New kitchen, new bathrooms. Uh, it's been retrofitted, so it's a pretty good um, little house for a, a right. person that's going to downsize or maybe first-time home buyer. 
So, and you said, I'm not exactly sure where Dynamo 39 is, two beds, two beds, 800 square feet, a walk Echo street. Park. Echo Park, okay. That's where it is. So is street parking, is that what it is? Do they have a garage yes. somewhere? Street parking. Street parking, okay. But it looks cute, I like it. Yeah, it's cute, thank you. Okay, uh, okay, next. Will, Will, 1519 North Mona Boulevard in Compton. Two beds, two baths, 816 square feet for 380. Is Will on the call this morning? Doesn't appear he is, or maybe he's muted. Um, all right, 380, that's a good price. Red Real Estate, somebody from Red Real Estate's here somewhere, I'm sure. This is a lease. For $3,100, two beds, one bath, 800 square feet on Olympic Boulevard, 90212. Okay, so this is right along there where, uh, you know, Beverly Hills. So it's probably west of La Cienica. Anybody from Core Group want to talk about it or shall we move on? Core Group, I'm sorry, red. Ha! All right, next. Day Her also has a lease on 1025 Dewey Avenue, five or number 504. Uh, two beds, two baths, 800 square feet for 2550. Okay. Russell Roney also with another lease. It's a loft, one bedroom, 810 square feet down on Hewitt, $2,900. Looks cute. Christina Kim, I know she's here, 420 South San Pedro. One bed, one bath, 2300. Christina, do you want to talk about this or is that all we need? Yeah, it's, I mean, it's, a, it's an amazing unit. I've already gotten uh, an application. I've got a couple of showings. I figured this probably will be gone by the end of the week. But it's mm -hmm. a fantastic unit at the Tokyo Loft in DTLA. Okay. Um, extremely spacious, uh, one bedroom with 12 foot ceilings. Um, so building has pool, gym, dog run, and it's fully furnished. I'm actually looking for a six month lease, um, and maybe entertaining, uh, another six months after, but initially we're looking for a six month lease. Excellent. Furnished six months, $2,300. Thank you. Excellent. Well, I, I see from Mary Woodward to everybody, we have a coming soon. So let's go back to that. What does Mary have coming soon? Hi, Tim. Mary Hi, here. Mary. Uh, we have an outstanding property coming on. It'll coming soon on Friday. It is 101 North Hudson. It's a, one of the most statuesque homes in Hancock Park an English tutor, it's 11,000 square feet on oh an God. acre with a tennis court. Um, it is original, but in the totally best sense of the word. Uh, it's a rolling coat um, and it's 10.5. Wow. It will need uh, vision in the sense of the systems will need to be brought up to 2020, but it is a truly amazing top 10 in Hancock Park home. So it's, if you have anyone that would like to live in a home such as that, and can, you can certainly live in it, but let me tell you, it does not have air conditioning. Huh. Ha, ha, ha. Uh, so let Andrew and me know if, you want to bring any clients by. We'll start showing this weekend. Excellent. Um, are they, the owners still living there or is it empty? Uh, no, the, it is, they have help living there, but the owner, the, the heirs are selling the home. Ah, okay. And just for me, for geography, where is, is it north, south, or what is it? Between it's it's third? first in Hudson. First in um, Hudson, okay. Yeah, it's uh, it's it's at first. Mary, got it. First, one hundred and one. You said one hundred and one north or south? North. 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 
And Charlotte has a question. I need to see the inside of that house. I have been admiring that house. Hey, Charlotte, call us privately. We'll be happy to show it to your clients, okay? I mean, I, it's just for me, if I can see it. <laughs> um, just, uh, yeah, let us know. We'll be happy to oblige our fellow agents of Keller Williams Larchmont. Fantastic. That is the most beautiful, pristine, perfect Hancock Park house in the entire neighborhood. I congratulate wow. Wow. It's gorgeous. I pass it so often. And, and you say coming soon, Mary, how soon? Well, uh, we're going, well, we're going to coming soon Friday and then I, then they're going to hit, we're going to hit the MLS on the weekend. On the weekend. Okay. So it's quite soon. Yes. You're the absolute first to know. Okay. Yes. Me and all my, my 38 friends. Uh, <laughs> Thank you, Mary. That's excellent. Congratulations. Right. Okay. Hey, wants Tim, it in, yes. I um, have to jump off really quick, but I just wanted to say I have a coming soon as well. Well, it's more awesome. of a pocket right now because they um, were finishing up a sale that my clients are buying something. We're closing escrow next week and then they are, um, uh, they're going to put their, they're going to have to move out. But the sellers wanted a lease back for a month. So we can't really show it because they have two kids and they're working and blah, blah, blah. So mm -hmm. it's 585 North Beach, Beachwood. It is um, a two bedroom, two bath. It's about 1492 square feet. It has also another room that's like a den. Um, a tiny office has a door, but doesn't have a closet. Um, it also has a cutout off of the dining room that they're using as an office too. So there's these little pockets of places. Mm -hmm. There's a little bit of an eat-in kitchen. They have a built-in little um, um, table and dinette there. There's a pool in the back. Um, it's seven. It's about 6,700 square feet. It's a just a standard garage, no ADU or anything. Um, we are looking to roll out. Like we're looking at about one four seven nine. Mm -hmm. um, we don't really have photos yet. Again, like they, you know, they're full on living there. They're just starting to clear their stuff out and get declutter and start packing up. Um, but, you know, we will be open to showing it. Um, again, it's, you know, it's not going to be, you're not going to see it anywhere for a little bit um, because we're keeping it off the MLS until we can really get it ready, unless right. it goes before then. Right. So, so it's, it's more of a pocket right know. now and we'll, happy doesn't, yeah, answer. But, it's a pocket right now. And if uh, it doesn't sell in the next month while as a pocket, I then it'll become a, you lost me? Oh, Alex? There we go. Yeah. Hi. Sorry. Hi. Can you hear me? Uh, yes. No, I think everyone heard you the whole time. Okay. What I was saying oh, okay. is right now it's a, right now it's, a, it's going to be a pocket for about a 30 days. Probably. And, and, yeah. yeah. So, and so you're willing to show it, you know, so these guys could maybe have the sale before they even move out. And right. then after that, do a little fluffing up and then get it on the market. Right. Excellent. And what was the address again? 585 North Beachwood. 585 North Beachwood. Excellent. Yeah. Thank um, you. I'm going to sign righty. off. Okay. Bye-bye. Thanks, Alex. Bye. So um, wants and needs, fill the bucket. Does anybody have any wants or needs? Yes. Will. How you doing? I'm good. We uh, saw your place that you're selling. Lease yes. In Compton? Uh, yes. That uh, yeah. listing is available in Compton. It's a very affordable. It's a perfect starter home. Yep. So looked it. If anyone has a buyer, you know, please bring them over. I'd be more than happy to uh, work with you guys. Okay. But I do have a need. Um, I have another listing in View Park. I've had it for I had it for a while now. My client has finally agreed to drop the price. But I wanted to get some feedback because we're looking at reducing the price, but at the same time. The house needs a lot of work. Mm. So I need some words of wisdom on how to handle that. Because just because you drop the price, you know, a buyer could come along and still say, well, can you drop it even more because it needs work? So I'm trying to find that balance. Okay. And then also 
this property has a beehive problem. Oh, so right. I need help with that also. Um, well, let me ask you a question, Will. I always like to get a, uh, a home inspection prior to. Okay. Uh, have you guys done that? We have not did a home inspection. Because what happens is when you get the home inspection, it makes it clear to the seller, number one, all the issues that a uh, potential buyer is going to uncover, but it also gives you something to give any of these buyers and say, okay, before you write an offer, please know this so mm -hmm. that they can't come back to you, you know, once they, you know, they like the price and they pay it and they can't come back and go, well, I didn't know that, mm -hmm. uh, you know, the sewer line was bad or I didn't know that, you know, there was a leak over here or something like that. Well, no, you did know. Mm -hmm. um, so then it kind of cuts out that negotiation point afterwards when you need to work. So that might be something you could have those guys invest in. Well, and then you get a list of things as well that, you know, you go, hey, we're going to lower the price, but you might want to tick off a couple of these just so that it won't be an issue once we get into escrow. Well, Will, can I ask um, how big the lot is? This house is huge. Uh, give me one second. I'm sorry. Okay. Uh, it is... Okay, this house is a four bedrooms, three bath. Square footage is 3,287 square feet and the lot is 6,512. Uh, okay, thank you. No problem. And, and uh, how much are you reducing it by or what are, the, what are the numbers we're talking about? We're talking about anywhere from 50 to 100,000, but I wanna make sure it makes sense because I'm thinking maybe we can do 50 and then put like $50,000 worth of work in it, you know, where it balances out. Mm -hmm. That's my thought, you know. Right. Right. I mean, what if you just dropped it down to that 100K, drive up more um, interest, and then maybe you can even bring that price back up to something that your seller would be very happy with? So go down and then go back up? Is that what No, I mean? I'm saying go, go down so that you cause interest. You make um, trying to stir multiples so that you can drive up the um, price with the multiple offers. To go into a bidding war. Correct. Yeah. Got it. And that's the trend right now. And I think that if you, it's easier to bring up the price um, from multiples than it is to try to get your seller to digest con uh, constant price dropping. And small increments are not going to be effective. I feel like if you do something very drastic, it's going to get, what you're trying to do is get a lot of interest and eyes on that property, right? Okay. Yes. So, so let me ask this question. It's been on the market for at least six months. So do I go off and then come back on? Like, what's the feedback on that? So I, I have a listing that we were priced really high above and we just dropped it. Um, the Wilton Court, the new development, it was priced at like almost 1.5. We dropped it down to 1.05. We are finally getting appointments. So okay. I'm just saying that um, you know, it seems to be a little bit more effective if you've got interest and you've got bodies coming in, you know, you, you just need to drive people to come in and take a look at the listing, right? Okay. Yeah, yeah but I, I, definitely I, I, start with a new listing, Will. Yeah, and I, I wouldn't actually post it um, as a new listing. I, you know, because what you're saying is because people are savvy. They're going to look it up and they're going to know that you, you had this listing on the market and then you're re relaunching it. So it's, you know, but what you can do is do like a blast of pr major price reduction and get people to understand there's, you know, you have a motivated seller. Okay. Yeah. And I, and I think as well, if you're going to be doing some work, now you're going to take it off the market for that time while the work is being done too. I think right. strike right now when, you know, prices are, are strong buyers, not buyers. Yeah. Buyers are, are out there and competing. And I think, yeah, you drop it hard, fast and, and you'll get some multiples, okay. hopefully. Yeah, I would say that's good advice, Christina. Perfect. And I need some help with the beehive. If anyone <laughs> has experience, I think a couple of people had beehives a couple of months ago. That's above my pay grade. <laughs> I think there's a ton of guys that do that. Yeah. 
I don't have any names for you. Maybe maybe someone in the office. It's those pest know. control people. It's just call those pest control people. They handle all the okay. bugs. Got it. Thank you. Uh, sometimes a gardener will take care of beehives. Okay. I got somebody. I got somebody. You know, ter termite does it too. But I have a guy I can send you. Thank you. Excellent. Excellent. All right, guys. So looks like it's about that time. Um, anything else? No. Great job, Tim. Oh my gosh. You down. Big shoes to fill. Um, all right. So if that's it, next slide. We have another slide. We have another slide. It says, what else did you see? Uh, that's the slide I'm looking for. <laughs> all right. Thanks for coming. See you all next Thank week. You. Thank you, Tim. All right. All right. Bye bye. Thanks, Tim.